Hey guys, Internet Dude again. Hey, in this video I want to show you uh, the diagnosis and hopefully repair of a, uh, I guess you'd call it a shaky or wobbly speedometer. So, the car in this case is a 1993 Ford Festiva, and uh, the complaint is that the speedometer needle shakes. So, let's go take it for a spin and check it out. Okay, well if you can hear it, but uh, the speedometer is jumping a bit, and it's making a bit of noise. It seems to jump more at the, uh, at the lower speeds. Let's slow down just a bit and see if we can do that correctly. There we go. Yeah, around 50 it, uh, it shakes more. It doesn't seem to be a big change, you know, whether you're accelerating or coasting, but uh, Definitely hear it and see it. Now, this car uses a speedometer cable. So there's a, a gear in the transmission and a cable that runs up to the speedometer head and that's what drives the, uh, the speedometer. Now, in, in a lot of newer vehicles, you have um, a speed sensor. Uh, so if you heard the noise like that, um, the problem is most likely with your, your speedometer head. Now, even though I suspect the problem is with the speedometer head, I'm first going to check the cable in case it's kinked or something, you know, like or maybe the, the, the gear on the other end is stripped or something. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and just start with the cable because it's easy to access. And I, you know, I don't have to take the dash part or anything. And then we can, we can take the dash part if we need to. Uh, one more thing I wanted to mention. Um, this process could apply to many other vehicles. The Festiva is not exactly unique. Uh, it could be maybe, maybe you have a Mustang and it has something similar or an F-150 or whatever. So... Uh, I'm just trying to show you the process and and how to kind of go about uh, fixing it, diagnosing and fixing. So don't get too hung up that it's a Festiva video. Okay, like I said, it's the cable's easily accessible. So it comes it comes out here from the firewall, goes down, um, and it's right there. Not sure if I can get it to focus, but uh, right there center of the screen, uh, that thing. So I'll take the bolt out and pull that out and we'll take a look at it. Okay, so I pulled it out. You can see it just comes over here. Um, there's the speedometer drive gear that goes right inside the transmission. And I took a look at it and it doesn't look that bad. Like I was thinking if it's skipping, you might have uh, say teeth missing or something. But there's a little bit of wear, but I don't think there's enough there to actually cause what we're seeing. So the next step, uh, again, because it's so easily accessible, is I'm going to uh, check out the drive cable, you know, the speedometer cable itself. Okay, so this part just unscrewed from the actual uh, gear mechanism, and then I was able to pull the cable out. So if you come down here, here's the end that connects down to that gear. And uh, it seems to be in good shape, and then you follow it along. It's, uh, it feels like just like a spring, so I think it is just one big long spring. And then you come to this end, and uh, it looks pretty good. There might be like just a little bit of a kink there. I don't know if that's enough to cause anything, but that is, you know, that is just a couple inches down from the speedometer head. So, what I'll do next is uh, I'll just clean clean the cable and maybe spray a little tiny bit of brake cleaner in there and let it dry. And then I'll re-lube the cable. We'll put it back in. Okay, so I cleaned off that uh, spring cable and I actually put a bit of pressure to try and straighten that out and uh, it is straighter now. So here's the lubricant I'm gonna use. It's uh, Motocraft PTFE lubricant. This really is probably the best product to use for, for a speedometer drive cable. Um, 
There's, well, there's a few others that are good, but I would stay away from white lithium grease because it can dry up over time. And things like WD-40 because they're so thin they won't really get the job done. So I'll leave a link below uh, to Amazon so you can check this stuff out. It's hard to do this one-handed, so I'm going to have to set the camera down, but I have way too much there right now, but I'll set the camera down, I'll reapply the grease all the way uh, along the cable, and then put it back in there. So I applied the grease, put this in and out a little bit, and you can see it does have kind of a light blue coating on it, so it does have a good, good amount of grease on there, which is what we're looking for. Guess what? That is a fix. The speedometer hand is quiet and it fluctuates like maybe one kilometer per hour. I'm surprised how this is shaking. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I'm going to call that a fix. Okay, well, uh, frankly, I'm a little surprised that um, just lubing up that cable did it because there was that noise right in the speedometer head, but clearly, it was just a, a dirty cable. So, uh, like I mentioned, this product, uh, it's the PTFE Lubricant from Motorcraft, part number XG8. Um, that's a very good product to use uh, because it has the PTFE in it. Uh, anyway, um, I hope you liked the video. I hope it was helpful. Uh, if you have more questions, uh, leave me a comment below. Please consider subscribing. If for some reason, this comes back or something, I'll, I'll do a follow-up video and I can pull the speedometer cluster right out of there, but at this point, uh, if it's inaccurate, it'll, you know, one kilometer per hour bouncing a bit, totally fine for a car of this age and, and mileage. Thanks for watching.